So this was actually something that uh, I was having a conversation this morning about this this concept of DC car chargers, um, and somebody asked me about that if you've got a SIG Energy battery, one of the modules you can buy for the SIG Energy battery stack is this uh, DC car charger. Um, it sounds like a great idea because the, the sort of concept behind it is you fill your batteries up, your batteries are full of DC energy, you plug your car in, now it might take a small amount of energy from the grid, but it'll take the rest of it from the batteries and it will provide pure DC power to your car. Now you can get on a single phase here, you can, means you can get a 12 kilowatt charger, and I believe it goes up to about 27 kilowatts if you've got a three phase supply. It sounds like a really great idea, especially if you've got SIG Energy batteries and an easy way then to fast charge your car. But it is quite expensive. The charging unit alone, on top of the cost of the batteries, is about two and a half thousand pounds for the single phase version, which is significantly more than an AC charger to get you another five kilowatts. Now, given we all get, well, for those of us on Intelligent Go, we get six hours overnight. If you're on Eon, I think you get seven hours overnight. Do you really need to be charging your car at home that quickly? So it sounds like a great idea. I'm just not sure if the, the, the numbers will work out. But it is one of the first systems that I've seen where the manufacturer said, this is vehicle to grid ready. So as soon as the car manufacturers start enabling this in the software on their car, it means if you have one of these, your DC charger also gives you the ability to run your house from that car as well. So one to keep an eye on, I think. Uh, this is the first one I've seen come to market that actually looks quite well designed. There is one caveat with it in that the cable is only uh, seven meters. So your battery has to be within seven meters of your car. Um, now that might not be possible for everybody, um, if you've got, especially if you've got longer cables, but you can't extend it, you can't do anything about that. So it, yeah, you've got to think about where you would put this. Um, if obviously, if it's in your garage and your car's in your garage, then it's really easy to plug it in. But do we really need DC fast charging at home?